when I travel, there's always a moment of realization. I'm stepping into a new world, a new experience. And the only thing I can be certain of is the man who has entered this place will not be the same one who leaves it. Mochi Kari. Tina Asia! There's an elephant. A real elephant. <laughs> oh my. good story has conflict, it has challenges, but in the end, isn't that what we all want? For our lives to be a good story. There could be a crocodile right there. No, we do not say these things. It's, po it's super possible. There's a hippo right there. This is stupid. Oh, that scared me. Hello, hippo. Oh, look, 10 hippos there. I've never been more terrified in my entire life. We just battled through like 100 hippos all staring at us. Dave, how are you? Dave has gone up 10% since we've been charged by hip hop. While I'm here, I'll be shooting with the Insta 361, which I'm also very excited about. I've never used a 360 camera before, and this one looks really cool. It has an incredible stabilization feature. You can take hyperlapses and time lapses, throw it on a drone, connect it to your phone, and edit everything there. Plus, you can never miss a shot because you're always shooting everything. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> the hippo came lie. right for us. So we are currently canoeing on the Zambezi River in between Zimbabwe and Zambia amongst do you, do you the Africa's deadliest animal. I just want to get to our campsite, guys. On average, 10 people a month die doing this. <laughs> two and a half per week. We did it. We were alive. We we're officially far enough away from the bank to where a crocodile cannot get us immediately. Yeah. Therefore, we made it. <laughs> it feels done. good to it's be on land. Done. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go see some animals. Zimbabwe has been a dream of mine since I was a boy. And it came to me at a rather interesting time in my life. A time of pain, of transition and struggle. I almost called the trip off. I was worried that my problems might bleed into my experience, that they might taint this journey I'd so long dreamt of. And I was right, they did. And they did it in the most beautiful way. To the people I met, the stories I heard, and the experiences I had, Zimbabwe reminded me that there's beauty in the struggle. Manapools is my first taste of real Africa. Wild, beautiful, and dangerous. I felt insignificant and powerless. A reminder of how big and beautiful the world around us is. It was everything I dreamed it would be. And it was also my first challenge. How do I capture this feeling? How do I document times of instinct? Where your hairs are standing up and you're not sure why. Or a moment like this one, when I was tracking a leopard on foot and the forest went deathly quiet, letting us know he was nearby without ever actually being seen. Or the disbelief that flows through you when a wild elephant walks into camp. The fear that penetrates your heart when charged by Africa's deadliest animal. Or when the sun sets, the moon rises, and as you lay in the dark, sounds of elephants trumpeting and breaking branches blast through the jungles. Hippos fight outside your zipped up screen flap in the moonlight, and a hyena starts to circle your tent. How do I capture these feelings? Maybe I needed more time. Maybe I'm just not a good enough filmmaker yet. Or maybe the true beauty of Africa can't be captured. It can't be seen. It can only be felt. We're naming the elephants right now. 
can we can we name one Henry? A big one can be Mana, a little one can be Poozy. Poozy? Poozy. I'm not against this, but I'm still gonna call him Henry. <laughs> ah, so sweet look man! It, look at it! Look at ah! it! Look at it! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we get to see them do this, like in the wild, just left alone to live, is pretty special. And especially being in Africa and realizing that that's actually pretty rare. Bye, Lana. Love you. Thanks for everything. Now we're going to Miri Rhino Conservation where these two work and mm. save rhinos and hang out with rhinos and elephants. But saved elephants. Yeah. Therefore, I, I can touch one. Yeah. I can Correct. Touch one. Rescued rescued orphans. Yeah. Yes. That you can. All right. I'm gonna eat these apples and peanut butter and let's go. Emiri has to be one of the most beautiful little pieces of earth I've ever stumbled upon. Starting out as humble farmers, the Travers family opened up their hearts and their land to animal conservation efforts, building up their local community, creating a safe place for animals to call home, and bringing harmony to the many conflicts between man and wild here in Africa. This is Mac. What's up, buddy? And he's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. What are you doing? <laughs> Mac's an orphan. His mother was poached for her tusks, and he was left to die. This is Shanu, also an orphan, and one of the very few who have survived the mass poaching of rhinos in recent years. There were over 65,000 black rhino in the wild, now they're under 2,500. My name is Shorai Mavura. I'm unfortunately down at Aimira. We are putting our lives in danger to protect these animals. So we have to teach those people who believe that rhino horn is special. It's nothing. You have to see the value of animals. The cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's work together to stop the poaching of these animals. But if we don't work together, I don't think we will achieve anything. Why do these animals need protection from us? How do we find more value in horns, more beauty in tusks, than the calming steps of giants? Places like Amiri bring hope for the future of our wildlife. And people like the Travers are proof that any one person can make a difference. So I hope that anyone watching this refuses to turn a blind eye to the challenges our planet is faced with. Even though a problem may seem too big, may feel too far away, that if your heart is drawn to an issue, any issue, you tackle it anyway, and do your part as a citizen of this planet. So I want to get to Victoria Falls before I leave, but for some reason, the airlines will not let me book a ticket. So I'm just going to go to the airport, try and get on a plane, and see what happens. Buying a ticket to a flight that leaves in an hour. <laughs> see if this works. Thank you so very, very much. Let's go! I'm winning! Just got on the plane. All buttons are confirmed, which means in four hours I'll be doing the world's biggest bungee jump, which is 121 meters. It's like 300 feet, which I'm kind of nervous about. Oh my god, I'm getting close to the falls. I can see a rainbow actually. Right, Yo, man, yeah, this is ice cream, you know, with my man. He's on his way to see the waterfalls, and I'm happy with him. But the other yum yum, he got to give it to his sister. Ice cream is here. Welcome to Zimbabwe. You better come as well to Zimbabwe and enjoy Zimbabwe as well. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> that is so good. That was awesome. All right, I need to hustle and get to the bridge. Yeah. 
freaking kidding me. I have never seen that much water moving before. What? Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's definitely the bridge. I just need to figure out how to get there. Hey, brother! I just asked the guys in the AK-47 where to go. So I need to go all the way back around. You guys, that's not good. I'm supposed to be there now. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm tired! Ah! There's no sign! Why the hell would I go this way? Ah! Oh! I didn't even notice that. Thank you, brother. I did not know I had to cross the border. Uh, this has just kind of been the name of the, the game this trip. So many things just have not been going well. But sometimes that's just the way it is. And either way, it's an awesome experience. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to bungee jump this time. <laughs> I literally, the most in, out, uh. <laughs> Good time. A receipt? Yeah. Got it. Uh. Thank you so much! I don't know how, I showed her my receipt for the bungee jump thing. She's letting me in with no passport. <laughs> now hopefully, they let me bungee jump still. You have to come tomorrow at night. I can't do it tomorrow, I fly out. <laughs> it started to feel like this little adventure was Zimbabwe's way of summarizing her teachings. Making sure it was clear what she was showing me. Reminding me that struggle is where a good story is born that these painful, difficult, or challenging times are what breathes life into our experiences, bringing us to a higher place of joy and appreciation when it's all said and done. And in the end, isn't that what we all want? For our lives to be a good story? I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>